short here in Shumway. It is uh, time to move these heifers. I'm going to take these heifers into the corral right now. I'm on the four-wheeler today. I needed to get up here and get this done pretty fast. And it was just easier to saddle up the four-wheeler today. So I'm going to take these cattle in. I'm going to take them to the house. And I'm going to tip their horns back, way back. And then they're going to turn out and just become cows. So I think I, I think I have them all, except I'm missing one heifer. But I think she's over in with the steers. So let's rim around these and put them through this gate down here. Take them towards the corral. Irrigation's been turned off here in some way. So whatever feed we have now is what we have. Close this gate so they can't come back around. Get back behind me. Okay, here's where it might get a little tricky on a four-wheeler, but we're still going to make it work. Good thing this creek is down. Problem. I don't want them to go back where they came from. I want them to cross the creek and go go up the creek towards the corrals. I'll have to see if we can get them to start right here. Go the way I want them to. Okay, I haven't four-wheeled too many cattle here at Shumway and it wouldn't work if the creek was up to its full capacity. But with it being low, it worked out all right. I was in a hurry. I need to go get my semi now and, and uh, come back and haul these cattle to the house. We're going to tip all these heifers' horns way back. There's a few steers that I got out of this closed pasture right here, and they just uh, need their horns banded. So we'll get that done today, too. I needed to close that gate over there, and the easiest way to get to it was uh, right down through the creek bottom here. But then I hated to climb out this other side. It was pretty steep. So I just parked right here in the mud 
climbed up the other side and shut the gate. Now we'll attempt to get out of here if we can without without flipping over or getting stuck. I better put the camera away. This might be a little tricky getting out right here. these cattle into a different pasture. I think they'll be a little more content if we can let them into here. This feed's a little drier up in here. Not quite as washy. Lots of weeds. We'll just let them come up in here have this pasture. Next place I'll let them will be right here through the fence. There's a lot of feed over in there. They can stay in there for quite a while, actually. Okay, I'm back up here with my semi. And we're going to load these heifers. Take them to the house. I want to get a count on them though first. Check it out, one of them's, one of them's already calved. Okay, here we go. Okay, I had to get the little standby camera because the other one I had kind of crapped out on me. It's not a very good word, is it? Crapped out. So I brought all these heifers here to the house and we are going to uh, cut their horns back. So I'm going to jump on this four-wheeler and run down and set a gate for them. Come on, girls. Oh. Okay, in my opinion, they're gonna look a lot better with these horns cut back. Another thing about them, they won't be as mean with these horns cut off to each other. I got a little calf right here that needs to come out. Come on, baby. <laughs> 